When you visit the hospital, you know there's a lot of equipment there to monitor exactly how you're doing. But have you ever wondered who's responsible for making sure all of that equipment is working properly? In many cases, it's a county employee, a health physicist. Here's James Ketchkesh. There's a good chance that at some point in your life, you're going to have to get one of these. Could have been that ski accident or that tumble down the stairs. Well, that's where this man comes in. No, he's not a patient, or a doctor for that matter. He's the one who makes sure the machines used to get those images are safe. My name is James Tawatao, and I'm an associate health physicist. In San Diego County, we have about 2,750 uh, facilities that, that have x-ray machines. Within those facilities lie over 7,000 x-ray machines, and each one of those must be routinely tested. You see, x-rays emit radiation, and although the amount you receive on an average doctor visit is very low, exposure to higher levels can be dangerous. The health physicist monitors this exposure, ensures they're calibrated correctly, and checks to see if the registration is up to date. It's like having a car, you know, you have to register your x-ray machines. And if they don't register, we don't know that they exist. And if we don't know they exist, we cannot test them. And all that testing keeps technicians like James quite busy. We test a lot of x-ray machines ranging from industry, uh, obviously hospitals, they have x-ray machines, veterinary, and then we also do dental machines. So we set at 100 milliseconds, we test it four times, and we're getting about 100, 101, 100 millisecond all the time. So not only it's accurate, but it's reproducible. It's a rewarding career, um, a lot of places to go. You're not just confined to a hospital or to a clinic or to a, a dental office. You meet a lot of people, educate a lot of personnel, and make an impact. On, on, on protecting the health and safety of Senior San Diego County residents. Okay. Machine's good to go. Okay, that's great. You know, one interesting little note, the term X-ray was never actually meant to stick. The X in X-ray was just written down to identify an unknown radiation. For more information, just go to our website, ctn.org. I'm Michael Russo.